I'm back and it feels good to be back in this city. Yeah, do that. Hey everyone, it is me. I'm back again. Yes, it is Who Dat Pat. And today we're going to actually go visit one of the oldest cemeteries here in New Orleans. Now, this cemetery is called Odd Fellows Rest. Now, if you ever heard of the fraternity group Odd Fellows, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, the Odd Fellows Cemetery uh, is located here on the corner of uh, City Park Avenue and Canal Street, right at the corner. There's multiple cemeteries that surround it. This is about 1.5 acres. It's one of the oldest here, but it's one of the most interesting ones here. And I'll explain that in just a minute here. So I came across this cemetery here. Uh, I was looking at a few things and I was looking for finding stuff, getting, you know, getting closer to the Halloween deal there because October is right around the corner and I did promise in some of the other videos that I will do one once a week and this is one of them here so let's get back into the cemetery so the Odd Fellows is a fraternity group that was based uh, back in England it has some deep roots way back and maybe back in the 1700s around up in there there was US presidents Charlie Chaplin Charles Lindbergh there's a lot of names that were part of this fraternity group and from my understanding that this cemetery here, there was at least 16 of the members moved to this cemetery right here where we're getting ready to go see. Now, I don't know what names are in there. I don't know who's buried in there other than I know the ones with the yellow fever because there was another group that had came in and helped the odd fellas to try to fight the yellow fever, but the yellow fever had taken over and this is where some of the, uh, the, the public had actually got buried at. So. But I know do Odd Fellows, I do know that Odd Fellows is actually in here. Uh, it has been recorded that they have said, now I just don't know the names, top of my head. I don't know if there's presidents, which I doubt it. I don't think there's any presidents in there, but it is close to the public, so I won't actually get to visit in there. Most of the, uh, the tombs in there are pretty much deteriorating really bad, and vandalism was just horrible, so that's why they closed it off like that. Um, as far as I know, nobody owns it. I think the uh, Save My Cemeteries is doing their best they can. See some people uh, working around here. So hopefully we'll see somebody. Or maybe we can talk to someone about it a little bit more. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you another haunted place. So speaking of haunted, maybe I'm just jumping way too fast here. Speaking of haunted, we're going to go to another place after this. And I'm going to show you that one also right here on Canal Street. But getting back to Odd Fella, this also haunted. There were reports that a gentleman they have seen walking his dog inside the gates and actually talking to people with black pants and a white shirt with a dog. Now, I don't know what the dog looks like. And also there was a lady figure also dressed in white. And I heard those two are together. Quite interesting. I didn't find anything else on the internet for it. So I haven't seen any pictures. If you are here local and you know more about it, please do. I like to drop a comment, tell me what you think, because I like to know a little bit more about it myself. All right, everyone, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, also drop a comment, tell me what you think. Enough of me chatting. Let's go take a walk over to the cemetery. Also, they said you could see the symbols of the society engraved on plaques, which can't see anything like that on these uh, here, but uh, they said that you could tell there's 16 members, like I was saying in the beginning, that they actually have uh, members here buried. And if you're ever in the area, I strongly recommend you definitely coming out here and taking a visit of this. It's free of charge, like I said, there's no charge to come out here, but you cannot enter the cemetery because it is off limits to the public, but you can definitely come take pictures through the gates here or uh, take your camera and go over the fence like I'm doing.
right here is my surprise at the end. And this is the haunted mortuary. Now many of you know that come Halloween time, this turns into an actual haunted attraction here. And this was once a mortuary. Oh, they got the speakers <laughs> rocking here. This was once a actual mortuary. They actually did embalmings. And this is where I performed during Halloween time. And I must say, it is very haunted. Now, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to film in the inside because they're still repairing it for, uh, for Halloween time. And I don't want to give it away just yet. So once I do go in there and it's time for me to start acting, I will give you a little bit of inside scoop. And I will kind of give you some stories. They're quite interesting. Just as I put my phone down to stop recording, there was a gentleman parking on the sidewalk here with a fireman's axe. Just swinging it, just looking around. So the gentleman that owns the, the mausoleum behind me had called 911. And I'm not sure if they're going to catch him or not. But he wasn't running anything. He was just taking his good old time, strolling down Canal Street. I'm just like, got to love New Orleans, man. <laughs> be safe. That's all I can say. Be safe out there. Wow. All right, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed the, the, the video I made for you. <sighs> yeah, it's going to be a fun year this year. I am not going to lie to you. All right, folks. Until next time, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who that?